When blood flow to the brain is blocked due to a clot, it can definitely trigger a stroke. And though most strokes are limited to older people, it is the sixth leading cause of death in children. And our health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us with a New Jersey teenager who defied the odds. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So this is about a 15-year-old who passed out suddenly on the football field. Of course, coaches and players rushed in to help, but the reason for his sudden illness was something no one saw coming. John Beveridge is now a healthy, active teenager, but this young man has been through a medical emergency more typical of someone four times his age. It all started at football practice. I wasn't feeling that great, and then uh, I was kind of feeling fine, and then I went outside, we did a warm-up lap, and just like that, I was out. I just woke up on the ground. John had suffered a cerebral stroke. I had no clue what happened to me at first. I was really confused. It turns out that a mitral valve heart tumor had triggered the stroke. This fibrous tumor is mobile because it's pulled in and out of the heart chamber by blood flow. We know that if you see something in the heart and the patient has had a stroke, you can surmise that a little piece of it has broken off and gone to the brain. Fortunately, the tissue from the fibrous tumor was removed before it could do more damage. After about a half hour, they determined that it went down, thank God, instead of another piece going to his brain and causing a massive stroke. Even though he knows he dodged a bullet, before long, John was back to normal. It took me six weeks after. I mean, I was back in the gym, almost back to my routine. It was like a weight off our shoulders. What a relief knowing that he had a great outcome, great surgery, and he was going to be fine. Out. The risk of stroke in children is 11 in 100,000 per year. In some cases, the cause is sickle cell disease, immune disorders, or heart defect, as was the case with John. Now, although strokes in kids are not common, parents are advised to be concerned if a teen suffers severe headaches, dizziness, or extreme sleepiness. Wow, he's pretty lucky. Yeah, and signs to be looking for. Of course, you don't think about it with children. Yeah. Mm -hmm, In the back of your head, sure. Thank you, Haley. Thanks, guys.